dubbed the pretty boy of dancehall, but he's more than just a pretty face and body. He started out in the music business as part of a group called Soldier with his older brother Delos. And before even getting recognition in Jamaica, they had a huge following in Japan and even played their first live shows there. We caught up with Conscience at Alternative Music Studios where he saw him rehearse his new hit, Gala Bubble. This whole week has been hanging with the artists while they prepare for Sumfest, and it's time to head to the big show. Conscience offered us a lift to Montego Bay on his tour bus, which I gladly accepted. So now we're going to get on the bus with Conscience um, to head down to Montego Bay for Sumfest. He's performing tonight. Tonight is reggae night. So we're just going to chill on that three hour ride heading down. His whole entourage was on the bus, so we had a few hours to hang out with him and his friends. Well, you come well prepared, man. Pillow and everything. Stomach, 
Right for him till it led to me start right for myself and then we we'll found my duo. We started the world up here <laughs> by still the time like idiot. <laughs> what was the name of that duo? The duo, the duo was and still is called Soja. Our oh, fan base is mainly in Europe and in Japan. Japan is actually where we were first do a show. What was that like your first show? Oh trust me. Imagine two nine to five you. See? Never seen Panasonic in Jamaica yet. She say a song at number one, and people scream, people phone a ring, and I hear, and I hear a song. It's so big song. <laughs> but then, that experience will just show you the power of music and the power of reggae music overall too. And as an artist, it make you really look look into the things that you're saying. Right. Halfway through the journey, we stopped at the Jerk Center, and there were tons of fans who recognized him especially females who wanted to have their pictures taken with him. I wouldn't say I'm the only artist that went up to so, but I'm in Jamaica outside of Jamaica, so come on us. <laughs> what do you do in situations like that? You can either try to keep it from a fan's perspective and try to keep them in a fan's place, but some of them sexy bad. So you're just a fan? <laughs> <laughs> it's come with the territory though, because when you have, you have, remember you have video up on TV, you have internet, and then you have girls with the end of them house. Sit down and see up on TV and say to themselves, so anywhere I sit here, all this is there. I'm going to go. Condom factory, love way. We make sure them never get ugly. Drink and smoke, and get ugly. After that, we are not ugly. Seeing when we think people have the power to do more for reggae and dance and, 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 and Jamaica and a whole. Right. But them not use it. The American music industry like you have the hip hop artists and you can see so them cling together mm -hmm. to make sure so the business of a foundation. Jamaica not have nothing like that. Jamaica wants to see a man there jail and the rest of them say hey, we can go big and all. We're not happy about we co workers demise. Like if you if you if you end up in a something bad, once you're not dead, we're good with it. We don't have that level of support there, so. Yeah, anybody in the dark side of the Chicken, I like it. But tell us, I'm joking. No, but I don't have no time. Like, my, as I said, my career is starting in Japan. So, from even before I get caught in the Jamaica hype, I see the real power of music I want to talk about. 
them have a little mentality where they might instill in the youth they will come up. I say controversy sells, this is true. But you have all the other ways you can you can you can um, be controversial without that same old carny way, a trouble one next artist and the two on the Yeah, and we are Jamaica, we are Jamaica you know what thing go. Yeah. Our brain fry out so. A man never sing my song for the man and if a man diss him, a man never diss him. Right. Seems like that's what's happening to vibes right now, you know. I'm adding controversy. No, I think with Vibes Cartel. Are you guys have, friends by the way? Not really. I know him but I'm, I'm not friends. So I'm a friend in there. See him? I'm a know him. I respect him too. Even when I'm doing a fuck with him. I still respect him as, as one of the best artists for Jamaica I've ever seen. You understand? Uh -huh. I think what I'm doing is just you have to take the good or the bad. You do extreme actions then, and them have extreme consequences. So, when it's good, it's good, when it's bad, it's bad. I'm here hearing tomorrow, you think they're going to granted bail? I don't know. I don't know. Doubt it. Who say you're afraid of Vibes Carter? I'm afraid of him too. <laughs> I'm on the head file too. Yeah, man, but if it, if it was up to me, like me I said, and I'm a friend, I don't know him, I know him that well, I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah, if you ask me about the, the entire case, I couldn't tell you what I'm going on, but from a musical standpoint, it would have good if him come out. Because I'm a level of creativity. Yeah, I'm a look for me, fuck. I'm a search for me, fuck. You're so the majority of time, me. You're the last one that's still trying to find me. Seems like I'm in for an amazing show tonight. Some fest, here I come.